When I'm alone in silence, it ain't really quiet. Mark Diamond is one of our good friends and a very talented musician here in Seattle. He's also vegan, which is awesome because we love spending time with him and his partner, Ali. And we're super excited for him to join us today and learn more about his approach to veganism and what he sees for the vegan world in the future. I wish we could get up and give you a hug, but you know. Social distance as much as we can. Thanks for having me here. Thanks for coming. Last time I was here, it was uh, it was like a club, and I was uh, I was dancing, and it, I haven't been here in the daytime, so this is really cool. I'm yeah. really excited. Well, I say we check out the menu first yeah. and figure out what we want to order. We just got done talking with Keaton, and we just saw the biscuits. They look super good, and chicken and waffles. Every time I see chicken and egg. Even though it says 100% plant-based, I'm like, always like, I oh, don't when it know. Says butter, <laughs> you're like, like butter, and then you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, is it plant-based? I'm like, is it really plant-based, or are they trying to trick me? <laughs> I think I know what I want. Do you guys know what you want? There's a lot of options. What do you get? You probably get the chicken and waffles. I'm going for the. You got me. I'm going for the chicken and waffles. That doesn't course. surprise me at all. Yeah. If I can dip it, I'm good. Yeah. Or if I can put sauce on it, I'm good. Yeah. Hello. Hey. Do you know about our new plant-based menu? Uh, oh, yeah. Yes, we do. Uh, that's why we're here. <laughs> oh, that's so good to hear. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the chicken and waffles. Chicken and waffles, okay. Can I do the breakfast burrito as tacos though? Okay. With the just egg? Can I do the sausage and egg, please? Perfect. I am so excited. You know brunch is our favorite. <laughs> we used true. to have you over for brunch all the time. Yeah. yeah, we did. Before I moved to LA, we would have our Saturday or Sunday morning brunches where you would cook for us. Right. Well, you're lucky because you have your wife, Allie, who is an amazing vegan chef. Yeah, she is. We yeah. love eating her food yeah. Yeah. anytime we come over. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, my family's always like, well, I could be vegan too if I like had someone making that good of food all the time. And she does cook. Like, I try and every once in a while give myself a little bit of credit because I do love cooking. Um, but I think it's more, I have a pretty severe attention span issue where it's like if there's something going on, I look the other way, so I, like, before you know it, I'm burning things. Ooh, Ooh, that looks goodness. delish. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. 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 I had no idea that you guys were going to be here today, so this is so weird. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> so you just moved back to Seattle from LA, but you're originally from here, and yes. you've been making music here and in L back and forth between LA for a long time. Yeah. What do you think about the vegan food here in Seattle? I was living in LA for like two and a half years and I got really used to that sort of lifestyle in terms of being a vegan in LA. Um, there's so many options everywhere. You go down there and every time it's new options. Oh yeah, it's and crazy. It, uh, really, really good food as well, you know, whether it be food trucks or bars or basically everywhere you went had vegan food. Um, and so kind of that first year of living there, I'd come here and I was like, I had my spots that I came to, mm -hmm. but I still felt like Seattle was maybe a little behind. Mm -hmm. A lot of places have vegan options, mm -hmm. yeah. but it's not super, super common for mm -hmm. a place to be entirely yeah. plant-based, which is why I'm so eager to try this out.